alaikum doctors now let's talk about the liver morphology and hepatitis now hepatitis occur as a result of acute infection and chronic infection hepatitis occur as a result of acute infection and chronic infection now the acute infection it is mostly due to the hepatitis A virus and hepatitis E virus while chronic infection it is usually from hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus now if you see the acute infection and acute infection grossly we will see that the liver is not shrunken liver is not shrunken except in meso hepatic necrosis so in acute infection the liver is not shrunken but in the condition of meso hepatic necrosis liver can be a shrunken and it can lead to the fulminant hepatitis it can lead to fulminant hepatitis and if you see the liver grossly there will be liver will look like as that there are some spots present on the liver it means liver is mortal so and if we see grossly the liver say this a liver so it will look like as that it get not shrunken and there will be a lot of spots present on the liver we can easily appreciate those spots so we will say that the liver is mortal so the liver will be normal it is not shrunken and there will be spots present on the liver so that's the grossly while if you see microscopically microscopically as this is acute infection so there will be infiltrate of the neutrophil and macrophages and a lot of plasma cells you you will be see that there are a lot of plasma cells also present and there is lobular hepatitis so there will be a lobular hepatitis it means say if this is a hexagonal lobule of the liver so here there will be another hexagonal lobules so there will be portal tracts or hepatic triad at each corner that separate the one lobule to the another lobule so here in the acute infection all liver parenchyma it get destroyed and it get disrupted but all the hepatic triad that is present here at each corner they are persist they are not getting destroyed and that's the reason that we call it lobular hepatitis so in the condition of lobular hepatitis all the liver parenchyma get destroyed but all the uh, all the corner side that is hepatic triad they are not getting destroyed so that is lobular hepatitis and there are portal inflammation are minimum there is portal inflammation is minimum as it is a acute infection so that's all the that is microscopically we will find the neutrophil and macrophages infiltrate a lot of plasma cells will be there and the liver parenchyma will be destroyed but the hepatic triad they will be normal and there will be portal inflammation is minimum as it is a acute infection so there will be no features of the inflammation scarring and fibrosis etc now let's talk about chronic infection as it is chronic infection so in the liver there will be repeatedly episode repeated episodes of scarring and fibrosis there will be repeatedly episodes of scarring and fibrosis and here if you see the liver liver will be shrunken liver is shrunken there will liver will be shrunken and the portal inflammation is maximum the portal inflammation is maximum 
and here is interface hepatitis is found interface hepatitis what does it mean it means say if this is hexagonal labule so so here all liver parenchyma is also destroyed but along with that the hepatic triad that is here it is also get destroyed so that is he interface hepatitis here the all the liver parenchyma are destroyed but along with that hepatic triad is also getting destroyed now it is usually this chronic infection it is usually from hepatitis b virus and hepatitis c virus and whenever the, it is uh, uh, from the hepatitis b virus so there will be grass ground appearance of hepatocytes and whenever it is from the hepatitis c virus so there will be a fibrous deposition occur and the liver along with that there will be a lot of portal inflammation and there will be infiltrate of uh, joint cells and lymphocytes etc so this is a general overview of the liver morphology and hepatitis hopefully you will get the lecture thank you